You guys have been asking me almost every single day for the last month or more to jump back into this series. So we're back with the no DLC playthrough. And uh, since the last time we played, there's been two new skin packs released that were completely free that weren't released as a DLC, but through the Hunt Club missions. So we actually do have some new skins that we can apply to our weapons, which is going to be a nice little thing to keep things fresh. Now we're going to go ahead and load this up and use a couple of the brand new Halloween ones today since we're we're really close to Halloween. It's like the 28th right now as I'm recording this. By the time this video goes up, it's going to be even closer to Halloween. So let's take a look at some of these Halloween skins. That looks really good, actually. And yeah, I like that. I really like that. We're going to go with this right here. It's 1500, but... We're going to go with it just for the sake of the video. And holy crap, that looks clean right there. We're going to go with that skin for this one. That's really cheap to only 200 to customize it. And now for the final one, the Stradivarius. Now the question is, what do we want to go with for this guy right here? Uh, let's do something a little bit different than the other ones. I mean, we could go with that. In fact, that looks pretty clean as well. What does it look like with that is the barrel? What about this? You know what, screw it. It's, it's, it's almost Halloween time. We'll go with this. Normally, I don't color the barrel with uh, the bright colors, but we'll do it this time. So we don't really have a lot of goals for today aside from explore some more of the map, hunt whatever we can along the way, and uh, unlock some more outposts, and that way we can be able to travel around the map a little bit better. It does appear that we have a moose already, though. That should be a kill. Yeah, that should be a kill shot. I, I couldn't see that being a miss. Now, something I got to point out, since I always get at least one comment about it, we're using the ATVs and the uh, tent DLC because if you play on Xbox or PlayStation, neither of those are classed as DLC. They come with the game when you purchase it. So during a poll, everybody voted that I have the ATVs and the tents because they're technically not DLC if you play on console. Unfortunately, us PC players just get screwed over with having to buy them. But aside from the tents and the ATVs, nothing else that we will be using during this series is classed as a DLC. The uh, skins are got through the hunt club during events. And yeah, let's uh, let's get back to hunting now that we've got that out of the way. And we've got ourselves another outpost unlocked. This will definitely help us out in fast traveling around the map a little bit quicker. Now, let's move along and try to find some more of them and get a few more animals down because we got a lot of, uh, got a lot of hunting to go if we want to make this video into something more than just one moose and a couple outposts. We got ourselves a couple of black-tailed deer does up there. I think we're going to go ahead and blast both of them if we can. We definitely got a hit into both. I don't think we killed the second one, though. That didn't look like a good shot. The first one should die, though. Also, you guys are going to see me killing a lot of stuff I normally wouldn't because we're still leveling in this series and I need as much XP and money as I possibly can get. So pretty much everything that we see is going to go down, regardless of what it is. There's our first little black tail doe. We got ourselves a very low lung shot. In fact, we missed the lung that was on our side and hit the opposite lung. That uh, That's crazy. Okay, so we got ourselves a few black tailed deer running away. I think we're going to try and take a shot on that guy. And then see if we can get one of these as well. There's a doe right there, and then there's another buck, but the buck is kind of getting away from us. Let's see what we can do here. Actually, let's go for this one. Should be dead. It turned as I shot, though, so we will see. Another outpost unlocked on the way through our journey here on Layton Lakes. Our first blacktail buck of the day is a level two because, you know, of course it is. And we didn't even get vitals on it. We ended up hitting a little bit far back. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. We still killed it and we still got 700 cash from it. Man, we ended up getting a non-vital hit on both of these. It, it, virtually the same shot as well. This is the one that was running away from us, I think. Now, to be honest, I don't even know at this point. This lake is absolutely loaded. We've got black-tailed deer everywhere. Mushroom Lake just always delivers. We also got some elk that are nervously feeding right there. And uh, we've got a black tail right here as well. I think it's only appropriate we try to kill at least three of these things. Gonna go for this guy, and then we'll see if we can get that one. And let's also try to get the big level four elk if we can. 
There it is. There's our level four. Let's zero to 300 meters and get lined up. And we miss. We hit the tree. Because, of course, we would. So, since we missed that other elk, let's go for this one that has not spooked off yet. This will be a much uh, easier shot to hit, hopefully. That looked to be vitals. Let's hope that that was the case. Because we actually ended up missing vitals on that second blacktail we took a shot at. So, we've got one blacktail down and hopefully an elk as well. So, we've got ourselves that blacktail. I probably uh, should have looked at it, but I, I didn't think. I'm so in the grinding mindset from all of the great one grinding we've been doing recently. We've been picking it up like crazy in the last couple weeks, getting back into hardcore grinding. And I'm so used to just blazing through every single kill that we uh, have that I'm forgetting that this is a completely different series and we need to pace ourselves a little bit. So we did end up getting a vital hit on that elk. Which means it should not be too far away. There it is. This is one of those racks that I've always been so mixed on my feelings towards it. I think it's kind of cool, but I don't like that it's so easy to find. Like, you see so many level 3s with this rack, which is not realistic at all. I mean, you can totally get an elk that looks like this in real life, but it's not going to be a every hunt thing. So, I wish they would reduce the amount of them that have this weird rack right here, because it's just... It's, uh, it's just a little excessive how many there is. And another outpost. This has been, I feel like, an even mix of outpost unlocks and animals going down. And I think we need to ramp up the amount of animals going down. And you know what? I think I know exactly the way that we're going to do that. Well, that's a five. That's a five. That's a five. This montage ended early. That's a five. Oh my gosh, that's a level five. Okay, we're going to wait for that thing to come over. Uh, for those that are curious, yes, I do not own this map, but you can still play them if you go to multiplayer, which means this is still a no DLC playthrough, but we're able to play all the other maps like Australia due to multiplayer being a way that you can access stuff that you don't have. At least in terms of, like, maps. Obviously, you can't, like, uh, get weapon packs from going into multiplayer. I think that's him, right? That's the five? Yeah, that's gotta be the five. I think it's the only male that was there. Yeah, it's definitely the only uh, large male that was there. Let's take down some of these as well, though. See if we can get a shot into any of them, really. There we go. Two more shots into a couple of Rusadir. Let's see. I don't think that's going to make it. Yeah, it didn't make it. 143.98. It was close, though. That was really, really close, but not quite a diamond. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. At least that's the most insane thing that we've got all day. We at least got a max level animal from just shooting everything in sight. Now, I think it's about time that we get back to just blasting everything in sight.
Well, I think that was a phenomenal way to end this video. A little one-man drive on Emerald Coast at the top of the map here. Starting at this outpost and running all the way to this top right corner. This is one of my favorite ways to get some money in this particular playthrough right here where we don't have access to uh, having all the DLCs in single player and can only play them in multiplayer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We did manage to get ourselves a beautiful level 5 Rusadir. Unfortunately, it was not a diamond, so that's a little bit sad, but it is what it is. Thank you all for watching so much. If you enjoy this type of a playthrough, be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know that you like this series so I know that you guys want to see more of them. And uh, if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing as well as leaving a like. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!